Hey guys, Tarot here bringing you a 1v1 today. We are on Tomoski Winter. Playing for you today, spawning on the right is Captain Tampon. <laughs> Playing as the British Forces, and he has gone for Commando Regiment. Spawning on the left, playing as OKW, is Warpenstein. One of the staff members of Code2.org. So Wolfenstein has also selected his Doctor Norris immediately going for Spec Ops. I feel like this is more of a 2v2 Doctrine. It does give you the infiltration grenades which are always good and they used to be very essential on this map before the incendiary grenade comes out for clearing these garrisons in the centre of the map but still, still a very useful feature. The STGs which are good for Obersoldaten. They recently reduced them from 90 to 60 same as the LMG and the thing about these infrared SDGs is they ignore cover and they even ignore building cover so you'll do uh, full damage to your squads even in buildings they make uh, Obersodan really powerful especially on these urban maps artillery for this useful for scouting information but you're probably not going to have uh, enough munitions as OKW to use this often especially in 1v1s and the Command Panther. This is a bit of a curious... This is a curious um, thing. Having this... I mean, this is really good for team games. But it's odd having... Having this call and tank in this commander where you already have to tier, to tier 4 to get the Obersaw and to make use of this. So it's a bit weird having that there. This thing is very same stats as the regular Panther, but there's a few extra abilities. I think it's got better sight range and uh, it's got that kind of mark vehicle like mechanism. I think it's like focus vehicle or something. So it boosts damage that a vehicle, that a one tank will, will take. So we see Wolfenstein going for a pretty standard build here, a Vickers and two infantry sections, no troop upgrades as of yet, going into Royal Engineers. Personally, on this map I would go for a Sniper, Sniper, Brit Sniper has 100% accuracy against buildings and you're going to need it to try and clear these buildings as the UK, you don't have access to a mortar or flamethrower so you kind of need that Sniper against the garrisons. So yeah, I would recommend going for a sniper right about now. Looks like he may be thinking about it. He's floating up quite a lot of manpower right now. So I feel like Wolfenstein could probably also afford to go for another squad of infantry, they're also flooding up quite a bit of manpower. So, Stern Pioneers making mincemeat of those Royal Engineers. The senior grenade forces that squad to reposition and ultimately retreat. Tough, tough engagement there. We'll stand a good job coming around this line of sight blocker. Making it hard for Captain Tampon to deal damage to that squad on an approach, which is really what you need to do against the Stern Pioneer squad, so it's a pretty good positioning there. Captain Tambo is just leaving his Vickers camped here in this building, which is alright. It's good to keep hold of this because it can make it very hard to get out of your base from this avenue if your opponent gets hold of this. Okay, so Captain Tampon is now going for a third squad of Infantry section, a uh, third infantry section squad. I don't know. Enemy threatening a capture point. Problem with the uh, infantry sections in their current state is that they uh, they cost so much to reinforce. 
Uh, yeah, they're quite weak with just the four-man squads. I mean, they're, they're okay. They do vet up incredibly well. Once they get vet three, they are nasty. And if you get them with their Bren upgrade, also pretty good. But they cost fuel, and in the current state, Brits are pretty much just rushing for a centaur as fast as possible, trying to avoid upgrades. And just try to get that centaur coming out ASAP, trying to make the most of that abuse. Good from Captain Tampa on there. Forcing that retreat. He's actually going. He's putting down a mortar pit. I uh, wouldn't recommend doing this against OKW. It's too easy for them to counter it at the moment. They, you know, after the nerfs to brace. Unless you're going Royal Engineers, you're going to have a very hard time keeping this alive. The problem is that the infantry support gun, especially once it vets up, will outrange it. And those incendiary grenades that the Volkswagen does throw do just absurd amounts of damage to emplacements. So, I'd be very surprised if Captain Tamil manages to keep this alive. That's why I think a sniper would have been a vastly superior choice. Wolfenstein, perhaps expecting a tank shortly. He's already got one Rick Hiddenworth, which is a good idea. Captain Tampon's also investing himself in a uh, AT gun himself. Not a bad idea, especially if your opponent's going to go for a fast loot. However, the current, currently OKW players tend to just go tier 1 and then... Uh, get out of Jagdpanzer to try and deal with that centaur and then put up their tech structure otherwise that centaur can pretty much destroy their entire army so if you're playing, uh, if you feel like your early game has been really strong as OKW, okay, you can afford to put down your tech structure but if you feel like you know, you haven't really just stuck it to your opponent real good in the early game. I would suggest not doing so and just going straight for the Jagdpanzer. Also important to note that Captain Tempo hasn't upgraded any of his squads with medics. He really needs to do so. These cost so much to reinforce and uh, not healing them is only going to add to those woes. Put them in these engagements at full health wherever possible. Wolfenstein charging into the infantry section there. Bad idea. Probably would have been best to try and stay in uh, some cover himself and just try and fight at long range. Might still have lost, but would have been much more close. Fox Green is pretty. Pretty bad on the move, got bad accuracy on the move. They're, got those, uh, they're quite good at long range, so been my advice there. So this is exactly when Captain Tampon should be using medical supplies. Wolfenstein's tech structure there, shutting down Captain Tampon's attempt to try and get this cut off here. Not that it's cutting anything off in the south at the moment, but he does need that. Let's try and connect those uh, southern resource points. Not that he actually ever capped that, so it doesn't really matter to him at all, honestly. Wolfenstein doing a nice thing here, setting up some sandbags on this point. That makes it pretty much impossible for Captain Tampon to siege this area. Pretty, uh, pretty slow paced game in terms of engagements right now. By flare now 10 minutes in, we've only got 3 command points which means no commandos yet for Captain Tampon and he really needs them honestly. Uh, 
He's having a lot of trouble in these infantry engagements. He really needs those commandos to try and turn the tide. Supply half tank is in action. Standing by for setting of command post. Wolfenstein perhaps could have used assault grenades there, but well, not assault grenades, infiltration grenades there, but oh, well. I wonder can this mortar. I don't know what its range is. I wonder if it can range that HQ. Probably not. The enemy are attacking an emplacement. So, first squad of STG equipped Obers for Wolfenstein. <laughs> Captain Tampon here using Brace. Honestly, these Obers are not going to do too much damage to that emplacement. Wolfenstein instead focusing on the Vickers, making Heavy machine gun crew killed. really short work of that. Bit of a late reaction from Captain Tampon here in the north, and he also wasn't standing in cover. I feel like if you if he was standing in cover the entire time, we did done a lot better. Those Tommies really need that cover bonus. Otherwise, they don't do too well at all. So now infantry six, uh, infantry support gun and uh, bundle grenades going on the mortar replacement. That's going to go down shortly. So T gun hasn't done anything. Bit of a waste of manpower. Captain Tampon finally now has reached full command points, but he has needed to spend his manpower on his centaur, which is coming out shortly. Okay, this is the absolute last thing you want to be doing. <laughs> Your infantry sections getting uh, reasonably close range against those STG overs. They excel in mid range. Maybe if he stood at long range, he could uh, engage them all right. Even at long range, though, they still do all right damage and uh, do have that cover bonus there of being in the garrison. So Wolfenstein taking pretty commanding map control right now. He's about to get a triple cap running, I imagine. Stealing his opponent's fuel. Here comes the centaur. So kind of in theory, Captain Tampon's been doing all right, but I re I feel like a sniper. Pretty much essential on this map is British. Also, he went for this six pounder way too early. Now it's a tough decision as OKW and Wolfenstein's uh, spot right now. Does he go for a Panther? He's not too far away in terms of fuel. Does he go for the P4? Or does he go for the Jagdpanzer? Jagdpanzer is probably the safest option. It allows you to fight at long range in the P4. And uh, these 6 pounder AT guns are really, really, really strong. Oh, and there you go. You get to see the Centaur in action there. <laughs> Completely wiping that squad in the garrison. Kidnwiff gets a shot off on the Centaur. Uh oh, Centaur's sticking around for far too long. He's going to take another rocket shot, and this thing's got quite slow acceleration. I think it's going to go down here. Yep. So, Captain Tampon, that was just. Really bad, honestly. It's your most important unit, you should be paying the most attention to it. Seeing it in front of an AT gun for four shots for no real reason, was it sneered. Just uh, cost him the game there, really. Okay, Captain Tempo now going for a sniper, a bit too late. But, should be able to perform pretty well against these Obers. 
feed them pretty good. They, even with that 10% reduced reinforcement cost, they still do cost quite a lot to reinforce. That's where a sniper picking it in long range will be very useful. Ooh, another set of infiltration grenades there. Ends up wiping that fresh Vickers. Got two squads of STG overs. <laughs> Oil engineers stand no chance. This is where you need the commandos. I'm surprised he hasn't brought in the commando glider. I thought that came at four command points. Maybe I was a. Uh, maybe it came at five. So that's pretty much the only thing that ST that will be able to go toe to toe with these STG overs. Oh my god, what is he doing? He sends a sniper straight into that Stern Pioneer squad. Always with the, with the sniper, you always want to attack move. So you know, you select the squad and you go like attack and you click on the map. So whenever a squad comes into range, they'll stop and start shooting at it. You send it just like with a right click you're just much more likely to get ambushed and I imagine that's what he did there, he sent his squad just right clicked it up here ran straight into those Doom Pioneers and ended up losing it of course GG so yeah Captain Tampo has got a few things to work on there he should pay more attention to his priority vehicles his build order needs some work uh, yeah so I'll wrap on that guys if you like your game to be cast by me, details on the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.